So we're really excited to be here today to announce the winners of the 2023 Charity Retail Pride Display Competition. And with me is Kat McLennan, who is our Visual Merchandising Associate. Hi, Kat. Hello. Hello. And I'm Vicky from the Charity Retail Consultancy. And we've been, uh, it, well, it's been a hard job, hasn't it? Really been hard. Been going through all the entries. We've had so many entries this year and they've all been up on our YouTube channel. So if you go onto YouTube and, and put in the Charity Retail Consultancy, You'll see every entry um, is, is on a video through through the um, whole of our Pride competition season. So it's been great. It's been amazing. And we've got some three winners, we think. And we've got some special mentions and things as well. So without further ado, Kat, I'm going to share the, my screen and I'm going to get the um, presentation up without doing any spoilers. <laughs> I know, I was thinking, oh no, is it all the ones at the end? I know, yeah. No, I mean, it's so brilliant to have so, there was just so many entries, which is so exciting and um, lovely to see such a wide range of um, different types of windows and different messages. And um, yeah, it was really, yeah, really exciting and motivating to to see it. And um, yeah, they must have looked amazing on all the, all the high streets to see this big range of, of windows with similar message yeah. so yeah so if we start um with we got some special mentions i think first haven't we, we Vicky? Have, we have and all these special special mentions will all get a certificate and some pride badges that we'll send out to you all so yeah so um this is um pete's dragons <laughs> which we absolutely just loved it just made us smile and um, when we when we saw it and it's a window with a lot going on in it but it just I think it just makes you want to stop and look at look at everything so there's a lot of like homemade handmade things um with the the hearts and the um Exmouth pride message across the top but then some just like such great things with the heads with them um, you know big wigs and the drag makeup and and the names attached to um each of the each of the heads what what are they Vicky because I can't it's donation Betty and there is uh, Rita Rotation and my favourite, Gabriella Gift Aid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just, Dragon yeah, Endeavor. just fantastic. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, so it really makes people stop and, and, and look and, um, you know, hopefully they carried the theme into the into the shop and, um, you know, yeah, I just, we just love this one. Yeah, brilliant. Well done. That was really great. So the next special mention was Isabel Hospice, and this is their Hayes Galleria shop. Um, and I particularly love this one. I particularly love the wedding, the lesbian wedding uh, one, which I thought was great. And it was the only one we got that had a wedding theme to it, wasn't yeah. it, I think? Um, yes. But I loved it. I loved the way that they're dressed. I love that, you know, there's a kind of, it's quite a simple, isn't it, background. The, the white background makes everything sort of pop and stand out. Yeah, I think the, gr the grouping is, um, is lovely. And um yeah, it just gives a really, you know, it's a good message and also it shows quite a lot of product, but in a cohesive way. It's telling a story, isn't it? And um, you really get the get the message there. Yeah, absolutely. And interestingly, of course, it's, you know, we saw a lot of product in a lot of the windows and a lot of it obviously was pride, it was rainbow themed things that people had saved up over the over the year. But of course, in here, you've got a lot of kind of everyday charity retail products as well. So it's just, you know, it's a tea set for a wedding do and things like that so it was a good way of using kind of regular product but putting it in a different context so I love that so well done as well hospice and our next one was Oxfam Stroud was a special yes question. yeah and um and again this is just really impactful just loved the framing of the window there's something really nice if you've got a big window if you can do something around the edge of it it really draws your eye into what you're displaying and and also the shop um, beyond so and obviously with a heart you know it just it just speaks to the message in the right way and um just love all the textures and different colors around it i mean it must have taken quite a long time to um, actually actually do but it really um, focuses um, on the product in in the window and, and would be really impactful from the other side of the street as well I'm sure it just stands out and draws people to the to the shop yeah definitely and because you can actually see the shop through the back of the window as well that's kind of even more interest as well it kind of like there's that like you said there's that layer the layer on the window the window display itself and then what's going on or the flag and then what's going on behind it so yeah another yeah. great one so well Brilliant. done Oxfam Stroud 
and another special mention was St Giles Hospice in Ashby. This was our first entry, actually, into the competition. And we saw a few bookshops, didn't we, Kat? Mm, yes, yeah, no, definitely. And there's, um, you know, there's, there's something just really simple and quite beautiful about this I think and obviously yeah. it just took a bit of time to collate all the cut all the different colors and and then stack them in this way but it um in, a, in an abstract way it gets the message across as well as explaining what product is um, on sale in in the shop and yeah. just because it's so neat and tidy and clean looking mm. um yeah I particularly love this one yeah yeah and it just shows it doesn't need to be apparel that you're using to to tell right. the story you know books can you know it can do it equally well so yeah, well done absolutely. to Giles and then we had a few charities where it was obviously hugely embraced by everybody in in the chain so we've got a few special mentions now for people who put multiple stores in and St Peter's Hospice in Bristol once again they did great last year and once again have done a wonderful set of displays this year and that White Ladies Road, you were, you were sort of saying about the grouping on the White Ladies Road one, weren't you, Kat? Oh, yes. I mean, this, um, I mean, all, all of the windows in the in the chain looked just so professional and really well thought out, but all quite different as well, which is which is lovely. So obviously each store, um, you know, had its own um, way of doing things, but in a very sort of clean and um you know well designed way but white ladies road i mean it really feels um like a fashion um a fashion window and um i know they've got like really beautiful mannequins but there's just something about the grouping of them together that just um makes it look um even even better rather than having you know the four of them sort of dotted across the whole window we've got two groups and they're slightly different angles as people would stand um, yeah, and I was really impressed from a display perspective um, of of that of that window. So yeah, well well done, St Peter's Hospice, and, and across the whole chain, it looked they all looked amazing actually. They did, they looked great, and I love the windmills as the heads on the Stoke Lane. Yeah. You, know, one, you know, two pieces of apparel, that's it in that window, really in terms of product, but you know, really impactful as well. So that's yeah. great. So well done, St Peter's yeah. Hospice. Definitely. And up my way, Highland Hospice. So a special mention to them who once again all of their shops uh, taking part. And uh, these were our three favourite from Highland Hospices, but there's some some great stuff in there. I love the one from the forest window. I know that shop is a very big window. And I think that they've done really well. And obviously they sell new wool in, in the Highland Hospice shop. So they've taken that as their product that they can make the rainbows from. And what does that say? Respect those whose pattern means they dance to a different tune. I love, I just love it. It's just so nice, a great strong message. But yeah, all, all, all of them were very um yeah creative yeah. and again sort of thought out and, and designed before before it was implemented which is really impressive and I, I love the wick one um you know this group of of you know people in all the colors but how the um because we think they might be made some of the tops and bottoms the skirts and and the, the sort of flower um the flower outfit bits of the outfit but I just loved how it went through the window from top yeah. to bottom top to bottom top to bottom it just sort of your eye bounces across the whole the whole range of um outfits and um, I love that everyone's got a different name and yeah that was really impressive yeah it's like a party going on there anyway that I'd like to be at <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah. absolutely uh, so that's great so well done Highland Hospice and then another one with multiple stores was the Air Ambulance Service. And I just wanted to say, I know that, that the Air Ambulance Service got in touch with us at the start of this. And they said they came along to your webinar, cat that you did about uh, inclusive window displays. And they did this whole amazing pack that they sent us to show us what they were doing, which was basically introducing Pride to the stores, helping them with ideas for displays, talking about what Pride was about, what it, it meant. And I know Isabel Hospice did this last year as well with their shops. So actually talking to the teams and rather than just saying, do a Pride window, giving them a bit of context, a bit of history, because not everybody knows about kind of what happened and why Pride is at the end of June and all these kind of things. So they 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 really went for it. They totally embraced it. And I think there's some fantastic results here. Uh, uh, my favourite is Oakham. I think that's a lovely window. And again, that grouping looks really nice. But we were saying, weren't we, that those rails, which are a really simple thing. So we were talking, there's that whole kind of thing when you're looking at displays of have you got money to buy fittings or have you not got money to buy fittings? Can you make do? Do you make do or do you get stuff bought in for you? And obviously that 
creates different challenges and things. But a really simple and quite cheap way of doing it is to use things sort of wheelie rails to create a display. And and that kind of was the theme. We saw that across all of the all of the air ambulance service shops. Um, so, yeah, I thought they looked great. Yeah, no, yeah, I no, completely agree. The rail is like a yeah, really lovely piece of kit that can be used um, in sort of different different ways. And I, I love the my favourite one's the rugby store one because obviously that's a bit of a smaller, tighter window. And having the rail at, at an angle again, it draws your eye to the two mannequins. Um, and then yeah, blocking the product in the, in the colours just um, just works works really um, really well I think if you're going to do this yeah you've got to be um, very particular about what product you choose and make sure everything's steamed and on the same hanger and get just get all those retail standards right um, and it, it does look um, look very impact impactful yeah. and then obviously Solihull just look I mean the balloons and that that just look lovely and um, again will draw your eye from the other side of the street really so yeah, yeah all, all of the air ambulance stores looked um, amazing. So, yeah, well done. Fantastic. And then I think this is the last group special mention. So this is NCBI and Foresight over in Ireland. And they are, you know, the ma masters of uh, visual merchandising. We've seen some amazing displays come out of NCBI and Foresight over the past few years. And I think they won the WOW Award twice in a row. And they didn't disappoint again this time. Either. They were some really stunning displays, really quite different as well. Uh, you know there's all these sort of different techniques that we've got we can see here so um yeah i think they were they were fantastic yeah and i think um what's lovely about these windows is that um yeah they're very bright and colorful and tell the tell the story and tell the message but they've managed to pull back of not having too much product in there um so cape the cable street one especially to to leave that gap behind the text love is love is quite a brave thing to um to do really because there's temptation isn't there to or we'll, we can put some, another mannequin or um some more product on the floor or something but this just makes it look really clean and um the message is stronger because there's less um less product in in the window um so yeah that's a real win yeah yeah absolutely so fantastic so thank you very much uh and cb and force that well done and then one of the things that we wanted to just touch on was about corporate graphics. And what we've noticed this year is that quite a lot of charities are now producing pride specific graphics to support your visual merchandising displays. And we wanted to just show a few examples of these. And again, it was that mix because some charities can afford to do that or are prepared to make that investment. Some aren't. So there's a, you know, you don't always get it. But but we thought these were a few that, that showed how how different it feels and how how good it looks to have these corporate messages in. So this is uh, Compton Care, so this is Compton Hospice in the Midlands, uh, obviously a, a big store of theirs and all those lovely wear it with pride, donate with pride. So really sort of tying together the themes of shopping and donating as well uh, using their... Um, yeah, definitely. And, and, and that, yeah, it looks really strong. And also what I think is key here with these um, window um, decals that they obviously really thought about the size of them because yeah. um and the shape of them because this these would actually work in any any window that's a that is a flat piece of glass you know whether it's a small window you might just use the circle um and then if you're a big window like this you might yeah you can use all three of them um but just by having these three different shapes and different types of decal it gives them flexibility um as to where they're placed depending on the on the size so you don't have to do a different size for different types of windows yeah yeah no that's a really good point and then this was another one this is from Marie Curie so they've got their a big poster saying a better end of life for all and you know I think that's great to see a hospice or uh, you know and we saw it in a promo and a number of hospices doing this actually directly talking about their service delivery and how that relates to LGBTQ people and gay and you know I know that it was probably only eight or nine years ago was the first time I ever really heard about gay people at receiving hospice services. Now, mm -hmm. I know hospices treat everybody, but it's really important to be, you know, out there about that. And I thought this was lovely to see. Yeah. Yeah. And no, I really, yeah, really lovely message, as you say. And also just a good use of, of the of the graphic, really making the graphic king. Um, and again, pairing back, having 
other stuff in there as well. We've just got the message and then we've got the um, bust form ne next to it. And that's that's all you need really to say what you want to what you want to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And I love the easel actually. That's been really nice. Yeah. Of doing yeah. It. yeah. Definitely. And then this one snuck in twice <laughs> because St. Peter's obviously have all also got a hospice hit um uh, uh, some corporate graphics. So there's a couple of really nice pride graphics there from St. Peter's as well, which obviously really nicely support the display as well and just about being inclusive and talking about the service delivery and saying this is for you we are here for you um so yeah yeah really, definitely it was yeah really good to see those wasn't it it's nice, nice yeah to see no, how much we've moved on with that kind of thing great so i think we're now into our top three so <laughs> this is so hard i know i know it's just, so <laughs> it's just such a tough tough job so in third place is the Dogs Trust in Colchester. Um, Kat, do you want to talk us through this amazing window? Yeah, I mean, there's so much detail in this um, and so much effort had gone into it because um, we believe that a volunteer had made um, the the banner, like a, a quilt, isn't it? It's quilted yeah, quilt, yeah. Um, that hang, that's hanging in the window. So they'd actually made it um, and the big floral paper flowers and there's other little elements within the within the window that we that that have been handmade as well as the products and that's a really hard job to do to get all of that all of those things in there and it still looks still looks good mm. so it's a very symmetrical display so I've really thought about where the placement of everything um and yeah there's been a lot of time and effort involved with this so um yeah it just it's sort of yeah. that that's what showed the sort of love and attention to detail sort of shone out of the out of this window so um yeah it's beautiful yeah it really did and i love that they've kind of thought about how it looks from the inside of the shop as well as from the outside yes. so they've doubled up on those flowers and they've put one facing into the shop as well as facing out which you know it's it's all that attention to detail like you said cat that, that makes a difference and you know we saw obviously we saw lots of flags that bought flags across all of the um windows and i suppose you know for you know the, again it's that thing about do you you know buy in a load of stuff to use to put flags up to make it you know really clear that this is a pride event or do you make stuff yourself or you know you know if you haven't got the budget to be buying in things all that kind of stuff and we thought this was a really nice balance so there was one string of bunting which they've obviously used really well chopped it up a little bit and you dotted it around as well as then the things that they've made you know uh, to go with it so yeah lovely lovely window so thank you uh dogs trust colchester and well done third place um yeah. so second place was uh white rose in the victoria center in nottingham and a completely different kind of look yeah no very very paired back and simple and no words no flags but we really do um, get the get the message with this. And again, another use of a rail, but it, it just works really well to have, um, you know, have have the both flags represented in in colour ways. And it um, it sort of feels quite obvious when you when you see it, but you just don't need the flag because we know what that message is. Mm -hmm. um, and then to have the mannequins dressed in white as well. So there's been a lot of thought around the product and a lot of saving and collecting, I'm sure, to get this exactly, exactly right. But it's very simple, but really um, creative. And um, yeah, I really love it. Yeah, me too. And I think the really simple things like they're standing on pallets, different height pallets and things like that, just to give that bit of variety. Again, something yeah. potentially anybody could do. Um, I love that. And I love I, and I think like we're saying about the message, the fact that they've singled out the, the trans flag colours there is a really strong message as well I think that, uh, around pride and uh, you know something that's important to be talking about just now so I, I I really like this I thought it was a really different kind of display uh, and the other thing just as a lesson in taking photographs of your window one of the people re things people are really challenged by is glare and reflection off mm -hmm. windows and what they've done here you can see the, set, the two smaller pictures when they've taken the photographs they've just turned the mannequins around and taken them from inside so you get the same impact from the picture so if you want to photograph your windows and share that on your social media or into a competition, that's one way of doing it is you just turn your whole display the other way around and take your pictures from inside and then you don't have to deal with the glare. So that was yeah, a, that's, that's a really, good tip. So that's well a really done, good tip. That's a really good tip. Yeah. Well done, White Rose. And so the winner, the winner. <laughs> and this shop has a special place in my heart, actually. I did, I was telling you earlier, Cat, wasn't I? I did 
part of my induction was in this shop when I first was a shop <laughs> manager and I had an extraordinary experience which if anybody wants to stop me and talk to me about it I will <laughs> tell them but it's not for now so the first place goes to Oxfam in Smithdown Road in Liverpool for this amazing <laughs> display which actually ties in with the whole Barbie movie as well randomly doesn't it yes I was thinking that just before we did the school I was thinking they timed it just right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's just fantastic. I mean, it's obviously just a, like an IKEA Talak unit that they've used, but the way that they've used it and the dolls are fantastic, aren't they? Oh, they're just so um, yeah. Just you just want to sort of get up close and have a look. And we just love the um, the banners that they're holding, and and it sort of highlights the the protest element and um, activism element of of pride, which is which is obviously super important. Yeah. Um, and nobody else had sort of like done done that in, in in any any way really mm. and um i don't know because they're little dolls it almost makes it they can sort of, i feel like they could say what they wanted without yeah. <laughs> causing too much um, offense because they're only little you know it's just um but yeah you just sort of want to look at and all the clothes as well on the on the dolls on yeah. the uh, action men and yeah. whether they're cindy's or barbies um and um, yeah, it was just so different. It just stood out because it was different from everybody else. Um, it was really well thought through. Um, and obviously a lot of hand hand making of everything as as well. So um, yeah, really, really well done, Oxfam. And um, yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. And I think what's interesting in here is there's the, the mix of products. So there's some donated product in there that we can see that's relevant. There's like... I mean, I love that. I don't know if that's a little neon light or something, that little rainbow, the white rainbow, but that's a, a really, you know, just to think, oh, that would fit with this type of display. I thought it was it's clever. But there's bought-in product as well. So the Source by Oxfam product, the little sort of um, felt um, little pouch, uh, sort of bags and things that they've got. And then, as we were talking about earlier, a little bit of that in-store messaging that Oxfam created. Yeah. So last year we saw this, which is the poster that says this shop is for you, me, him, her, they, them, and that's in there. And then a little bit at the top about uh, fighting injustice with pride, which I thought, so it's a, it's a lovely combination of kind of low key, low scale. So it's kind of homemade. It's got a bit of corporate support in it. It's got imagination. It's got donated products. It's got bought in products. It's got a bit of everything. So I just, it's lovely. And it, you can imagine it, a crowd gathering around having a good look yeah at this, and i can imagine people wanting to come and just like buy the little dolls as well you just want yeah. to have one at home wouldn't you sitting on your um you know sitting you on your mantelpiece behind here <laughs> absolutely so yeah. well done oxfam smith down road uh, congratulations so our winner will receive so i i have i'm a bit of a hobbyist stained up so i've been making some i don't know if, can, if you can see that cat but i've been making yeah it was so there. beautiful i'm gonna stop sharing now so they can see so so we've been making pride hangers so our our mm -hmm. first and second prize winners will get one of those and also we'll get some training vouchers and we'll send pride badges out to everybody who uh got a special mention or obviously the people in the top three so well done everybody hooray for charity retail celebrate yeah. pride we love it yeah. it yeah. was amazing <laughs> uh, thank you so much cat for your casting your expert eye over it again it's um Oh, and I loved, loved it. It was just, it was brilliant to see everyone's hard work. So yeah, yeah. well done, everybody yeah. who entered. Thank yeah. you. So thank you, everybody. I've got my little pride whistle <laughs> to celebrate. <laughs> thank you all so much. That's another year, another pride done. And we'll see you all for next year's competition, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Bye. everybody.